Hi, welcome to this video in which I will show you how to activate function selective central locking. What does this mean? Not that you lock, lock some selectively lock the car, but that when you unlock the car, now when you press, if this function is not activated, normally this is from factory, when you unlock the car, all, all doors and the uh, boot, they unlock. If you activate this function, when you unlock the car with remote or via the um, uh, lock uh, here, it will unlock on only driver's doors. And if you want to unlock also the other doors, you need to unlock, press the button twice or turn the key twice on the left. So that it unlocks all the doors. You can also tweak this function a little bit. I will show you later how to do this. But uh, this function is, a, uh, is very uh, useful in the cities where there, uh, there is a lot of criminals. And for example, you are going to the car, towards the car, unlock the car, and somebody from other side opens the doors and comes into your car, your car, which is not, let's say, really optimal. So with this function activated, you will unlock the car, but only window uh, driver win uh, doors will be unlocked, which is great. But if you don't need this, so if you are in some safe neighborhoods and so on, there is no a lot, not a lot of criminals, this function can be really, really annoying. Because always that you want to uh, unlock the whole car, you need to always press twice. So if your car has this now, you can deactivate it. I'll show later how. And now let's go to this. So first I will need to uh, turn on the ignition because this needs to be so that the uh, system will be that the VCDS will uh, be able to access it. What you need for this, you need a diagnostic tool. I use VCDS, so I will show with VCDS how you do this. And let's go first to the module. We uh, uh, click select and then central convenience. This is 46, module 46, CCU unit. And then we go to coding. So if I press coding now, here is my factory number and your car might have different uh, code here. Why? Because this number is a sum of all these numbers. So if your car has different equipment, usually the problem is not the problem, but the difference is anti-alarm system, then your code will be here different. So don't put my code in, new code, but you will. I will show you how you do it. So if you want to have the selective central locking, as you can he see here, this is what it is interesting, interesting for us. So this is selective central locking. And if I, so we need to add four to my existing number. So I will just add here four and click do it. I will verify that it was accepted. And if it is accepted, let's see. Yeah, it, uh, no, that's it coding. Okay, I will need to connect again. Sometimes it does not show the coding option act, uh, available. So let me just verify. Yeah, it's connecting. And let's do back the coding. This is it. Yeah, it was accepted. And let's go out and let's see if it really works. So now, okay, let, let's go out and uh, let's see. And now let's verify if this really works. So if I lock the car, now everything is unlocked, is locked. But if I unlock it once, drivers, driver doors are locked, unlocked, and all the other doors are locked, as you can see. So they do not open. If I want to open all doors, I just press twice the unlock button, and also the driver doors are. Uh, uh, all, all other doors are unlocked. So I will lock it back and again I will press it twice. Yeah, and it works. So the other option is also if you manually lock the car. So now it is locked. And if I unlock it once, all other doors stay locked, but the, you can unlock the driver door, or you can open the driver doors. So you need to do twice, and now it also other doors are open. Okay, so this is it. So as you can see, uh, this everything worked as it should. But as I said, this can be sometimes quite annoying if you live in safe neighborhoods or somewhere uh, there, because you always need to unlock twice. 
But there is also additional possibility how to solve this. So let's go back to 46. And uh, what can you do? There is also additional option, which means that, uh, let me just see if it will connect. No, okay, it's trying. Let's see if it is connected. There it is. Okay, it's connecting. So there is additional option in coding that you can tweak this function a little bit. So what can we do? Okay, so here is my, uh, now the new coding, uh, plus four. So for selective central locking. And that means that if you unlock the car with the remote and also with the key in the, in uh, here, with the key manually, it you will need to always turn uh, the key twice to the left to unlock it or uh, just um, uh, press twice the rem on the remote button on the remote. But there is additional option and this is the selective central locking via key switch only. So if I add this number 16384 to this current number, so I will get, uh, oh, let me add this, 23118 and if I press do it, okay, 23118. Let's see. Hopefully it will be accepted. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it was 23118. So now this should, uh, now this should, uh, as I said, when you unlock the car with the remote, it will work normally. It will unlock all doors. But if I will unlock the door manually with the key, it should unlock only the driver's door and I need to put it, turn it twice to the left to unlock also the other doors. So let me go out and check this if it works. And let me now uh, try this uh, tweaked uh, version. So if I lock the doors and now unlock it with the remote only once, as you can see, all doors remain uh, unlocked uh, immediately with one button press. But now if I lock it for example with the remote and everything is locked and now unlock it only once with the key as you can see all other doors remain uh, locked and this one uh, uh, driver doors uh, unlock so if i do it twice now i can open also the rear doors other doors so let me try again if i unlock it with the remote yeah, it works so perfect this all, all works and yeah, it worked. So this is perfect. As you wish, you can uh, tweak this a little bit. If you, if you like this additional safety, then you just activate the completely also with remote. If you, are, if you live in somewhere that only sometimes you need this function, then you just unlock the car manually at that time. And it, is, it will unlock only driver's doors, okay? Driver doors. So now, uh, since I uh, don't live in a very dangerous neighborhood, I, I don't like this function because I need to unlock it always twice. So I will just deactivate completely. So uh, how can we do this? We just go back to the 46, module 46. And uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. back to the coding. That's it. And if I look here, I need you need to remove from this number this one and also this one. So I will just insert in my uh, normal, uh, my factory coding. This is it. Do it. And let me just verify again that it was accepted. Okay. This is it. Yeah, it was perfect. And let me just go out again and verify that everything works without uh, needing to double unlock either manual or via remote control. Let me now verify that everything works as uh, it was from factory. So that with first unlocking, the uh, all, all uh, doors lock. So yes, perfect. And these are good also. And let's check also the boot. It worked. So now let me try also the uh, manual locking. So only once and all doors work perfect. And this is great. And this was it. 
and now everything is back to stock as I want. So this was the tutorial how to activate this select selective central locking function. If you need the extra security, this is great. If not, then it is just annoying. So you can activate it, deactivate it, whatever. You can tweak it a little bit, what works uh, best for you. Thank you for watching. I hope that it helped and drive safe. And of course, smile when you drive because driving is always fun. Thank you, especially if you drive Audi A2. Bye. Thank you.